There were several ways he could deal with this. He could ignore it, but that probably wouldn't last long. As he would pull out all his hair, he could put up a sign, but a no trespassing warning felt too far aggressive. He had no idea the solution was waiting at the local store and only going to cost $2. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. For Dave, it was a no-brainer to get a security camera for the front door of his house. It was a deluxe package with the bells and whistles and handy app that gave him immediate notifications if anyone approached his home. At first, it seemed like the best idea ever. It wasn't the first time he had lost an Amazon package to the porch pirates or been the victim of some petty, annoying crime that the police didn't do much about. Even if it was a decent neighborhood, the new shiny system was very much welcome. However, at the time, he wasn't aware of the annoyance it would bring. It started with a telltale beep that signaled someone was on the large slab of concrete in front of his home. Dave whipped out his phone, feeling like a secret agent ready to catch a sneaky criminal. But there in the driveway was not at all what he imagined. A little boy, no more than four, raced around his driveway on his blue and green bicycle. The zipping child had accidentally set off his alarm. Dave chuckled and put his phone away. Oh well, things like this were bound to happen but he would soon find out it was going to be a regular and very annoying thing. Every day his phone would beep and show the same ordeal. The child's mother moseyed along the sidewalk, her hands busy with trying to control the leashes of two large, very energetic dogs. The boy would race ahead, turn into Dave's driveway, do a circle, then wheel out to join his mom again. But what could he do about it? The constant notifications weren't just getting annoying. They were filling up his notifications and memory storage. One thing for certain, he wasn't going to be one of these horrible strangers that would come down on an innocent child for some harmless play. No, this needed a creative solution. The answer came quickly. A simple but useful skill he had wielded when he was young. It had come from long summer vacations filled with friends and adventure, and it only cost a couple of bucks. So Dave went to the nearest dollar store, bought a colorful bucket of chalk, and raced home with the perfect idea. The idea was simple. He had no problem with the boy or anyone else having to use the driveway for a moment or two. He just needed them to stay away from whatever points would set his security system. Dave bent down and grabbed a bright pink hunk of chalk and dragged it along the ground. The final result? A winding racetrack, complete with curved warnings and entry arrows. It gave the kid something to ride along, but leave Dave in peace. There was this ultimate question though. Would the boy use it? The next day, he made a point of watching the camera stream carefully. Like clockwork, the mother and kid showed up, his little feet pushing the pedals as fast as he could. Normally, he would swerve in and out, but this time, he slowed, surveyed the path, and then looked to his mother. She gave a smile and a nod, then pointed to the in section of the track. But that wasn't all. It wasn't just the perfect solution to what could have been a dramatic problem with the neighborhood. It was something Dave found he enjoyed doing. Whenever the rains washed the lines away, he would just grab the bucket and chalk and draw a new, different one, in a small, adorable way. His driveway became locally famous. Why? It wasn't just the one tiny boy that used a fun run. Many other children who sped in front of his house saw the opportunity and happily took it. As things couldn't get any cuter, for surprising, Dave found something else appear on his recordings. First, the boy now would finish the tracks and then give a little thank you wave. Dave felt like he would melt into a little puddle on the floor. Second, it was just kids that used it. His jaw dropped when he saw that adults were using it too. One mom with a stroller grinned and took the side path and shortly after a teen on a scooter did the same thing. A few grown-ups on their own bikes, even though it was tricky, decided to tackle the racetrack. It was a better solution than Dave could have ever imagined, one that made everyone happy.